so to kick this hair cut off, I'm going straight in with a one and a half guard fully open. And I'm going with the grain. With the grain, I'm going with the pattern of the wave pattern, I'm not trying to destroy the wave pattern or the crown of the head, keeping everything consistent to get the desired length and prepping the hair for a nice taper and a nice lineup. So I just slowly start to spin my client and most of the time when I'm shooting my videos or when I'm in the shop or when I'm working, what I'm doing is I got my favorite spot in the shop where I'm receiving most of my light. And wherever you receive most of your light, you kind of want to use that spot a lot. Like develop your favorite spot in the shop in terms of where you cut at your work area, your space, because when it comes down to crazy haircuts, you being comfortable is always, is always going to benefit like just on your side in terms of how well the haircut is, is in terms of how well you perform you will perform when you put yourself in the best predicament so with that being said find your favorite spot and let's work so I just brush the hair down keeping everything consistent I go on with my end is T outline is to create my first initial guideline and I create that guideline maybe towards the top of the ear and I'm gonna slowly but surely fade up. So I go up with my wall seniors and I'm open about a quarter of an inch. And as you guys can see, I don't make a thorough crazy guideline, but I, I opened up and then I go in with my wall seniors fully closed and I hit them halfway right here and then I still nudge at that line. And as you guys can see, the taper starting to come together. I go in with a 1 16th guard on my end as masters and I just, nudge at the line giving myself a little room because I will remove the guard just so I can go with my masters open and maybe my fourth notch just to get my blend exactly where I want so as you guys can see right here I went in with the Andes masters without the guard fully open then I dropped it down to that fourth notch and I just cleaned it up and I maybe dropped it down to that second and third and flipped around and then I go in halfway with my 1 16th guard and then I go up another guard line See, one thing that I'm starting to notice about these wave of haircuts is you could get away with a lot. As you guys can see that real big wave that's above this guideline, the best part about this haircut and the best part about these wave of haircuts is if you decide to stop at the last big wave, it always falls in your behavior. So right here, I went in with the Andes Masters and it was fully open and I'm still nudging at the line about a quarter of an inch. And then just fading in between as you guys can see fade coming together crazy so I go on my 1 8th guard and that's fully closed and I'm just nudging at the line as you guys can see not doing no real crazy digging in work I'm using the hilt of the blade going up and down and using the actual design of the blade and the shape of the blade to develop my transition and my fade in this haircut that's one thing that I'm starting to love so much that I'm not having to use as many guards I don't have to go through so many different techniques and systems because I've learned my clipper just remember the game gonna reward you for the work that you put in that's bars I'm gonna say that non-stop to everybody that's watching these videos like people think you out here just cutting hair and it's not that whatever you put into anything you're gonna receive that back and that's what that's that's what you would that's what you should want in anything is you just look at like real relationships and friendships whatever energy you put in or if you put positive energy in you will hope that it's reciprocated or you know that it's gonna be reciprocated so just understand and know like that's just the game and that's just how it works so I just go with my 116th guard and I'm just doing detailing work that's all I'm doing right now is detailing work and then I'm finna just go in and just keep everything real consistent as you guys can see using the corner of the blade I'm angled out I got my hand brush with me and I'm just keeping my fade consistent and flush. And fading behind the ear too to get a dope transition as well. And I just slowly but surely make my way to the back of the head and I go on my end. This T outline is fully open and I go up about a full inch. And I just go in fully open with my wall seniors and then I get myself about an inch as well. And then I'm going to fade literally from zero all the way up to that open line. And you guys are going to watch me create the transition. Repeating the same steps that I did on the side of the head. So I go in fully closed and I give myself about a fourth of an inch. Then I go halfway and I give myself another fourth of an inch. 
everything is consistency it's about you just having fun with what we love to do like we are barbers we are changing and impacting lives off every haircut if that's not enough motive for you to want to consistently do this and to go further i don't know man like there's no other better feeling than really turning it up and giving somebody a look that is just like man it's crazy to them and just literally shape-shifting their day that's what it's about So I go in with my 116th and it's fully closed and I'm just nudging at the line. Giving myself room to consistently fade. Now I go in completely open. As you guys see, this is gonna be a trick that I use a lot because at times going open from my wall seniors and transitioning to my end this masters 116th isn't a flush uh, transition in terms of the fade. Sometimes I got to take my guard off, you know, and do some fade work up under that. But, you know, that ain't nothing but another 10 to 15 seconds once you pop the guard off. So I go in about halfway here, and I'm going up another fourth of an inch, keeping everything real consistent, fading up to the last big wave. I'm telling y'all, if y'all take that approach, I'm not saying that that's the best approach in the world. Because some people don't want to fade up to the last big wave. But me personally, if my client can't give me the place or the designated place to go, or if they don't have a specific picture for me to copy off or imitate for them, then I would suggest going up to the last big wave. It just makes sense to me. So I go in with my one eighth guard, and my one eighth guard right now is just fully open, and I'm just really flicking and majority of the boat because I'm trying to get the transition of the fade. It's basically there. It's just this last wave of this hair that's curled up. That's kind of making, you know, the transition look a little iffy, but just with staying consistent, with remembering my steps, with brushing one and fading one, with having fun in the game and having a dope conversation with dope people. I want to shout out to my boy right here because he's from South Korea. You got people who pulled up from South Korea. If y'all don't understand and know how turn I was to shoot this video, come on, man. So I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Justin for making that trip from South Korea. And I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Jerm Boomer because he got this beat rocking. We just, man, we cooling right now. We having fun. And you know, this should be chill. This should be dope for y'all. Like this, if this haircut is coming together for y'all, could y'all please leave a like, leave a comment. Like, let's get this engagement up. I engage with y'all so much in my comments. I respond back to almost every comment. Like if it's one that I don't see, it might be because I dropped another video and I just never got a chance to go back to the previous video comments. But with that being said, get interactive with me. Drop as many questions if you have. If you don't talk to me, I don't know what to bring. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to do. So y'all need to help me out in terms of engagement and just drop these things in the comments, man. Let's rock out. Like I'm here to help y'all uh, if y'all need anything. And I'm here to learn from y'all as well. Like I'm still a student to the game. So with that being said, don't never be discouraged. Let's work. So I go into this line with my wall heroes positioning the head exactly where I need it to be. And I just go in by literally drawing my line. Keeping everything consistent. My client has a nice grade of hair. And he has that 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 overly curliness of the hair. So watch out for that. Because with these wavers and these sharp linings, that hair can tend to curl and scoop back. So remember, always brush that hair down. Keep everything consistent. Keep the head positioned right where you want to and just rock out lightly taps and go let the clippers do the work and i'm telling you you're gonna achieve some crazy sharp linings and i think that's the best part about the game right there as well as long as you you, you physically take your time with it you can watch the haircut slowly and surely develop as you guys can see my client has an amazing amazing set of waves an amazing grade of hair but just in a vertical bars area is just where he's a little lighter and it's just the hair just being lighter there not saying he's receiving anything but the hair just a little lighter so we really finna soup it up and we gonna go to the we just lock in right now with the beam team coilless compressor using a business card giving ourselves about four to five inches away from the object is how you achieve that sharpness of that line and as you guys can see not spraying too much but giving it that nice look and right here, I decided to double up and just show y'all something new for the videos because I don't get to show y'all when I double up a lot. But I doubled up the fibers 
uh and it's not because I wanted to use more color, but it's because he got a nice grade of hair. And if you double up on certain parts of the color enhancements at times, it can work in your favor. Like Shaq and Kobe and they prime in them early 2000s. They literally bouncing and they working off each other so perfect that this dynamic duo should not be stopped by nobody. And with that being said, we in a bag right now. So you just keep everything consistent. Keep the business card there. And remember, spray at that four to five inch distance radius and always burst never hold the trigger down the more you burst it the more of a consistent look you get in terms of the lining always start with the vertical bar especially if you're going to use color over again like if you want to use fibers over something else i always recommend for you to start in the vertical bars just because sometimes you can like you can crack the palette of fibers if you lay fibers down and and then hold and spray and if you hit the line in the wrong way with the trimmers you can break the palette which will give the fibers a crumbly look that's 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 something that not a lot of people even look at or even pay attention to but this is how you get crispy this is how you get sharp this is how you get these picture perfect images that everybody want to talk about on instagram or how to get that real sharp look or how to get you know the you know the crazy finishes this is how it happened this is one of the ways that it happened and with that being said like not only is this amazing for us but now we can we can give out the same dope haircuts that the barbers that we look up to give up. So I go into 245 razors, just stretch the skin. I'm coming back at a 45 degree angle, keeping everything consistent, getting my client as crispy as possible. Ain't nothing standing in the way right now. We rocking out, we working, and it's like that. So we go in, we stretch the skin, 45 degree angle, and I did my first indentation with the sideburn. Then I went down and did the horizontal part of the beard, which helped me curve into the actual beard. Then once you do that once, you go in, you dust it off, and then you re-hit the line. Fire. So right here is how you do an amazing Waver's haircut. Trust me, we on Waver's Paradise, baby. And it's going down. Y'all know what time it is. Hashtag TBT. It's the Beam Team. We not playing with nobody, especially in 2019. Strap up. Let's get this money. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. And click that notification bell to get alerted when the next video come out. May God bless.